Um, you got the, scri- the slip dot screen. Music. No, that's what we're forgetting. Yeah. We're forgetting the love music. I know they can hear us right now. That's all right. That's what they need. That old. Back in the factory. <laughs> It wouldn't be. Where's the uh? Where's your favorites? Uh, my playlist is this it? Yeah. Suppose if you, did I you create a playlist, I could, well, I could have sworn I, I go I, to likes. Go to likes then underneath that it. At, uh, it's right underneath it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. My, 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 my. Wait, is that it? Okay, got the T pain. I think we got it in the background now. I can hear it a little bit. You can hear? Mm-hmm. In the headphones? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I do hear it. Okay, good. Good. We're making progress. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, I don't think it's picking up our voices. There we go. Hmm. All right, you ready to rock and roll? Yeah, we're good. All right, let's go and flash over to the big C, baby! That controller's so long? Of course not. Let's go ahead and go on. Elijah, give everybody the love talk. Uh, what is it? Up and three, two, one. I feel weird saying it this way and they're looking this way, but yes. welcome back to the show from God's own well. Oh, yeah, you It's the best it. way to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome yeah. back to the show from God's own wood, uh, where we believe that uh, it's about time that you got entered into the Gundamverse. Join us today on our 332nd episode, sitting across from me, the man with the plan that shows pain all across his chest, and it is a mess. It, it, it destroyed Konoha. Yes. Uh, his name is Destroy Monsieur. Konoha and a lot of other people. So, hey, hey, Kakashi was like, you know what? This is my time to die. Oh yeah, yeah. He was like, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Hey, I'm hey. Done. And I was, I was I'm sad done. about that too. I was like, Kakashi, don't go out like this. Not to pain, but pain brought it. Pain Kakashi brought it. was someone that I think mad respect to him, but at the same oh, yeah. time, I feel like that he, you know, he, he didn't mind taking that back seat when it no, was needed. Because no. he, he did the same thing when Tachi ran up on him. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Tachi ran up, gave him a little poke. Sim in that world where he was stuck, and he came. Well, he was in the hospital. He was. He and was. he wasn't even trying to get up. He was like, hey, "Oh, what's up, y'all? My books. Where are my books? What y'all need? Do y'all really need me here? They're not burning these books yet, are yeah, they? No. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's cool. Not banned. Cool. I'm gonna back out. I'm back out. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna back out. <laughs> And I am your other host, the Locked Warrior, the Loch Ness the Monster, Loch Ness Monster Nessie himself. himself. Yes. Like I, they thought Looking I was very Lochlish, Lochlicious. Hey, thank you. Yeah, Lochlicious. There like, we go. Thugalicious. No, not Thugalicious. No, what was his name off of Boondog? Gangstalicious. Hey, I will give a shout out to him because uh, most Def killed it. He's oh, yeah. That was just, it. But Boondog I'm Elijah 5000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. But what were you about so to So check say? this out. So everybody, if you are not tuning into our spaces, our safe spaces that we have on Twitter every Saturday around between 1 and 1.30, we go live on Twitter. We create a safe space where we really just talk about everything that we just really want to talk about. Because one thing we want to do is show you guys outside of just the news and all the up-to-date stuff that we always constantly give you guys, there is, we do have personalities. And we figured <laughs> safe space is a good place where that's, you can just kind of hear That's one thing the world chat. forgets black people have. Is, we got, you is got personalities, personalities. Yes. We freedom, you know, lives. And, uh, and look at it. And, yeah. we, and we like it for it to matter, so we want to share with you guys. This past week, Elijah came through with some amazing mm. anime questions. As an anime Thank you. lover... I've always get questions about anime. Like people just want to know, what's your favorite anime? What's this? What's that? Basic, Basic question. Elijah came through with some very aggressive anime questions, and I share them with uh, your fellow light skin anime lover. Okay, what did he uh, say? Joshi. So let me let me pull up a lot. Of, two of them I wanted to re-ask you because okay. I couldn't remember your answers to. Oh, this uh, is, is it? He kind of loosey goosey. Go. Okay, yeah, a little bit. Go. I got him. And I want to shout out to. Uh, anime, the HBCU, also uh, the Worst Generation, Anime After Dark, like all you motherfuckers on Twitter that's taking the questions and put them into your communities where we get to answer and you guys get to hear from us. Thank you so much. And I'm also taking popular, uh, some of them are my jokes, some of them are popular jokes or phrases we've heard in wrestling, and I'm putting them with black anime characters. So oh. I got um, I got one coming out today. It is uh, Gojo, and he's uh, the black Gojo with the locks, and he's on the phone, and he's like, 
uh, the two things I love are being black and whooping ass. I've already been black all day. I'll see you later. <laughs> so that's that's. Are how you posting them all everywhere or on just on Twitter? Twitter. 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 Okay, Twitter. gotcha. So that's a Twitter yeah. exclusive. Where can they find you on Twitter? Wow. Uh, Real Elijah underscore five thousand or the Elijah Bailey Show. Chop off the W on the end. There you go. So uh, two of the questions that Josh wanted to know your answer was. Why did he come to the safe space? You know. That's what I'm hey, 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 there you go. He could have had it. Um. <laughs> What was your what was your weapon? The oh, okay. Weapon. My my weapon was uh, the best weapon in anime that I've ever seen, and the one that I like the most every time it happens. It's always an isekai where somebody dies at the beginning, and it's the AI system that you plays. Just, okay, that's right. Because whatever your life is, you can create a new life. And I also want to throw the spin on it, like if you had a mindset like old boy from Gate, because we talk about him all the time. He only wanted to go to work so he could feed into his anime fandom uh, but if you had a mind like that there's nothing that you couldn't do and we've seen like somebody like Rimuru Tempest who wasn't anything but a, a, slime. a salary man oh, coming yeah, to yeah, a slime yeah, yeah. A sl- so yeah. I feel like that's that's one of the most okay. ingenious you did but say that and then the I think one? another one was if you could meet an anime character who was it oh who did I say um because I remember yours. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, I, I wanted some booty. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 was th- I was thinking about, like, so many things. Uh, I wanted, like, stories and adventure. And then all that's coming to my head now, like, I, I repurposed it, is Edward Newgate, Whitebeard. Because it's like, oh, if okay. you could have been King of the Pirates, oh, that wasn't good. why didn't you? But you also wanted the family. So when it comes to being, like, that ultimate strength. Yeah. And, hey, the anime does not do the manga justice, like, when Whitebeard died standing on his feet, he had holes in his chest. He had half his face missing. He had got shot like hundreds of times by cannons. By bom- He'd been stabbed so many times, betrayed. And he still had love for the people that betrayed him and his crew. It's like, what drives a man that strong to just be, you know, living through his illness, kind of like Goldie Roger, and be like, you know what? I'm cool with Roger being the number one pirate. Me okay. just sitting here. So I'm like, that's I want to hear one. his stories. That's a good like one. That. Yeah, that's, that's a real good one. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, I'm not going to go through all these answers mm-hmm. with Josh or what his answer yeah. was, but here uh, I think uh, a couple of them was his first anime was uh, Samurai Pizza Cat. Ah, yeah, yeah. And then when I told him yours was uh, Speed Race, he's like, he said, that might have been mine too. He said, but I just remember just kind of casually Samurai watching. Samurai Pizza Cat. But he said Samurai Pizza Cat was his. Media yeah, Serviche. Yeah. Hey, they had that song going on. He like, couldn't think of a personality, so he chose Riley. I'm saying, and I had to give him like, I had to, yeah, seriously, <laughs> I had to give him a half a point. Okay, on that one. Uh, Fair enough. I'm trying to think what was another one that off the top of my head I can remember. Uh, the anime that was better than expected mm. was, I believe, he said, uh, the Galactic. Uh, that galactic one the, I was telling you, the okay, end, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, legendary I, galactic, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then the one I also asked, him, like, what was one of the less? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, look it up. I was like, he also asked, well, what was one of the least disappointing? Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, he said when it, it, it touched my soul because okay. I remember how. <laughs> and now I, I want to give it a better. I want to give it a, another try. Yeah. Before everybody comes, you know, shaming me. Sh- the Shield Hero. So season two, he didn't like the season because I the, couldn't. I even I because I love season one. Season one, mm-hmm. it, it was should have was about to be a platinum title, and then when season two came out, I remember starting it and I was just like, "You got to think it's it's about waves though." Do I want to watch this? Ooh! So this is why I told myself, let me re rewatch watch season it one and give and it then like a coast new... in season two. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I didn't, you know, S H I T. I didn't shit on it that bad, but. When he said that, it did, because it did hurt my feelings. Yeah. I was like, I do remember season two. It's just like, what is this? Is this the same anime? Well, okay. This is my, this is from a, a storyteller. Because that he had met the queen and all that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But as a, as a writer, his whole deal was like, he was betrayed. So it's him against the world. Does he get taken he over by the, the power that he creates himself through hard work? The second season is almost like Rimuru. He created this continent. He's bringing everybody together to fight something that they they don't know what the waves are. He really just wants to go home. Yeah. So now he takes the role of the reluctant hero who still got those hurt feelings because but it's of more the, of a team. Everybody betrayed. Yeah. You're right. So and I think that's the reason three, why I wanted to rewatch season one yeah. because I was because you're right. I forgot the whole portrayal that he had experienced. Season um, three is going to be good. I think that's where it's building to that climax because I know not, what season two means. He couldn't think of a best weapon. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, he he was he was dumbfounded on that one. 
Uh, he said his favorite food to eat. He said, he said actually just a, a, a drink sipper. Okay. Yeah, he said he just kind of pours a small hey, little glass nothing. and he just sips on it. Uh, he said when he does eat, he may eat some piece of rose oh, or something like that. Hey, yeah, that's good choices. Just, you know what would be uh, um, uh, Tamashi's mm-hmm. jelly infused sake? That's that's, that's another one to that, sip that on. Fine. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Um, and I think those are all the questions I can remember off the top of my head. Okay. So we just wanted to share yeah. that with you guys because we had a fun time at Spaces uh, last Saturday. But catch us again this Saturday. Uh, Cause we got some more fun time with you, but on yeah. this episode we are talking about this is a Bailey Bugle. Yeah, so you guys know what Bailey Bugle is. We just kind of hang out and chat, chat, chit chat with yeah. you guys about chat, some chat, topics. We still got some new topics we want to hit on. Yeah, there's there's some news. Uh, like there is a lot of things going on. The main news today is something I told me and Leon talked about. So oh yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah I mean, yeah. it's actually like the show. Did we show them the show? No, I just thought about it. Okay, had, yeah, go I ahead. Hey, as you guys look at this. Uh, we're going to show you the thumbnail for the show because last week's thumbnail is non-existent. It's just the Invisible Shield hero. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting ready to show you that. Um, what else can I think of? And then we're also we're going to be playing uh, some Gundam. Some Gundam Evolution. Evolution. Yeah. It is a free-to-play game right now on the PC. Yeah. And um, it is... Uh, we played a little bit of it when it was in the beta form. Yeah, which and, I enjoyed. Uh, yeah. I didn't get to play as much. It's like but it Overwatch, was nice. but... Gun of skin. Perfect. Yeah. Um. So we will be uh playing that game with you guys while still just kind of chit chat and, and talking about the news. Uh. And boom, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Roni Kenshin. Roni Kenshin re- yes. returns. Um. How do you feel about that? Okay. Let's start with this. And because it mean, is controversial right now. Surprisingly. I don't, I, I don't know why anything's controversial. Like whenever whenever I first watched Roni Kenshin, it was coming on the Toonami Block and Adult Swim. So. Tsunami, uh, you got to see uh, the Batosai, and then Adult Swim, you got more blood, you got more cussing and things like that. Afterwards, uh, I was exposed to Samurai X through a friend through VHSs, and that is the story of Kenshin Hamura before he became the Ronin. When he was steeped into his training and becoming the Batosai, when he fell in love, and why his mm. scars never faded. Now, he's already succeeded at the end of Kenshin we see that he has a kid him and Karu and his his it's weird his scars healed themselves it's basically him Letting torturing go. and yeah, yeah torment yeah. themselves because not only did his his uh, basically battle buddies die but also this whole system in the world govern the government that they created through the actions of killing mercilessly created a world that he did not want to be in and he wanted peace and that's why he had the reverse blade and if you don't know what that is the the actual blade of the sword is on the back end of his katana in the it's front of the few katanas yeah. i got hanging up in the room yeah. as we speak yeah so uh, i don't even know why this is controversial because it's just giving us more because of the art uh, the, the creator of it you know mm. he you know you, you know <sighs> I, so of I, course because of that you know people tend to really associate the art with the artist yeah. hardcore and they were like you know i don't want to support it and which you know to each his own uh yeah. you know I'm, I'm not knocking you whatsoever if you guys feel that way uh i grew up with ronnie kenshin it's just i rocky. loved it uh and I'm, I'm i'm excited to see what you know when what happens next what happens in the story because yeah, this a is a story. continuation yeah. isn't it yeah uh yeah it's a continuation and it's going to dive into some of the things like he has to pick the sword back up it seems uh, yeah and, and oh, kind of go yeah, back the... into that place because what happens after you haven't trained you you found peace like mm-hmm. now i need to go back and i've got to have that will because and now he's found true peace yeah because back then like you said it was like a force oh, when piece. Carver got like... taken the first time he was like i'll kill you i was like oh this boy slipped right back into them jeans in those jeans i, I was went like, right back to how they used to be mm. and he was ready to kill a negro he was he was uh, but yeah, so I'm. I'm. It's 2023, right? 2023 is when it's coming out. So I'm excited to see that. 2023 is gonna be a big year. 2023 is everything. Cause we like, got, uh, we uh, got Black Clover. Mm-hmm. We got Attack on Titan. Which we got Demon Slayer. Which the boy Aaron. Yeah, he's Aaron. He is not Aaron. No, he's Aaron. Cause he said he woke up this morning and chose violence. Hey, he's like, and hey. ain't none of y'all convincing yeah. me otherwise. Them colonizers out there. Yeah, put us on the island. I was like, man, yeah. He, doom. Hey, the tide. Doom, doom, doom. Got the stuff. Doom. Doom, 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 just stomping in the water. Marley's going. Hey, hey, the, the they, Attack yeah, on Titan. It's, 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 it's fire right now. It's fire. It is nice. It is uh, nice. 
Yeah, uh, there, there's uh, just so then, many different titles, and then Yu Yu Hakusho is supposed to be coming back. Hunter Hunter, they've uh, he's got so many uh, chapters yeah, out. Yeah, they do. It's, it's yeah. everything is a resurgence of the '90s. And then Trigon, almost. boy, Trigon, yeah, yeah. 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 Boy, which Vash looks and great Nile. and everything. We get to re and rehear that story. Uh, yeah, 2023 is gonna be a dope year. I had heard like a TikToker, and one thing I hate about certain videos where they like, this is gonna be the best anime year ever, and I kind of like, man, whatever, dude. Uh, you might be on. It might be, might be right. Because even Dragon year. Ball Z is coming back. Yeah, or Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Super, Super is coming back, back and yes. they're going to start with the moral arc. So that was one thing that we were debating. And next year might be hot. Hey, and remember, this is the place where you saw it first. We were even when I was producing Krillnet, we were covering episode by episode Dragon Ball Super, uh, all the way up into the very end. So get ready for that. Yeah, uh, get ready is coming back. Because we are definitely diving back in. You know, it's funny. Britt had told me the other day. He was like, he's like, man. I'm, I got to rewatch Dragon Ball Super. I was like, why? He's like, I didn't realize there's so much of the tournament I never watched. He said, because mm. I started watching it with y'all yeah. when y'all was showing it episode by episode. episode. Yeah. He said, so. You got to go back. He said, yeah, so there's there's, a, there's some. The exhibition matches that I, I, and I, I finding did. the team. Yeah, yeah. I know what he means. Yeah, yeah. Because I think we didn't start at the beginning of the tournament. We, no, we started on episode 80. Is where okay. we started. We went all the way through 131, which if you did pre-order the box set for Dragon Ball Super, mine just shipped today. So I've got the the Crunchyroll Limited Edition oh, box set. Nasty. Hey, it's nasty. coming it's coming in. So yeah, we covered nasty. 80 to 131, but we talked about episode one through 80 we on did. the show. Yeah, I do remember we, that. Yeah. Before we got to it. So yeah, I, I understand that jumping in with us wherever we started doing the tournament. You do have to go back and watch some of those episodes, which I, I will say watching the English dub, which I love voice actors, is goofier than what I've read and then watching the sub. So I've had that's right, we fun watching that both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, yeah. We let's... had to. We had to. No, of course we had to because we had to drop an episode by episode. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just weird, too, just thinking about that. You're right. We, we did have it. Yeah, we, we, we was giving y'all the, hey, the we gave juice. You, hey, we gave it away for free. Free. We should have had OnlyFans back then. Hey, real talk. <laughs> it's real too, talk. Too free. We was hooking y'all up with the low low on the free. Um, what else? What else did you have? Okay, so this and this one's a little bit lengthy, but uh, Kyle McCarthy may not star in Mob Psycho 100, and he plays our, our main character. Oh, he plays Mob. Mob. Yeah. And it's because um, they want you. You know, SAG and union rights. So basically, they want rights. They want to be paid for their work. They want to be compensated and taken care of. And Crunchyroll is making this. Um, Which you can't blame them. Yeah. It, I mean, with the acquisitions to that acquire Crunchyroll and everything, a lot of things are being lost in the shuffle. Now, we've always pushed for making sure that if you're an actor, whatever you're doing, you're getting compensated for your work because it, it's not a high paying job. No matter how yeah. glorious Western voice actors make it look. Yes, they do get a little bit more perks uh, than the Japanese voice actors, but they're not highly no, as revered, it's, it's, and it's, it's not a lifelong a career. So, no, not at all. But, and they still don't get paid as much. Like, you have to... The way you get honored as a voice actor is you die. I mean, when you Pretty die, much, they're yeah, like... That's when, everybody, that's, when you get the, that's when you get the flowers thrown at you yeah. and everything like that. And speaking of voice actors, what's the name retired? The uh, hey, uh, James Earl. Yeah, James Earl Jones Salutes. gave up the rights to... Vader. Darth Vader. Yeah, he said they'll digitally enhance, you know, they want to do the voice. They they got the tools to use my voice, which I can't knock him. I mean, he is, was he like 90, 90? He's something like that. Cause they, he's 91 they, or 92. They were worried that he wasn't going to make it for Coming to America too. Yeah. And, hey, this, hey, me and Jessica's like, it's nice to see a black man lock something down. And it's beautiful, especially such he's a, such a, such great a beautiful actor. role like Darth Vader. And shout out hey. to him as well because they just converted the theater in New York where they mm. do a lot of Broadway shows too. Yep. The James, James Earl Jones, Jones yeah. uh, Center. So that's that's you know shout out to yeah, him. Yeah. Super dope representing the black and, and his voice is so freaking iconic. I think there's a, like the the ones that come to mind: Sidney Portier, mm. James Earl Jones, Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. Easy. So and Denzel's gonna be oh, one of them. Know, you already you know. Already you already know, know Michael already. B's gonna be one. Michael. Oh uh, yeah. He if, as long as he stays in which. True. He's I already been know what you're saying. Enough, yeah. And he's been he still gets. I feel like he's still he's not like a. It don't feel like the. He didn't Jason Momoa. Uh, yes. Jason. Jason had it all. He did, and then he just started. And just what happened? I don't know, but he's re he's recollecting himself. He got his uh, uh an he extension his to his moku. He cut it so he could That's get the happened. rest, and then That's it's what happened, back. Though. That's what happened. And you can't cut your hair. I <laughs> you can't cut the lock. Hey, when you cut the lock, that's where the power comes from. That's when you realize that was your source of power. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately for him, he 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 realized that. Yeah, because yeah, I remember he fell off. 
Yeah. Not I, hard, but it was just it was aggressive. It was yeah. like, what happened to him? But I think he's coming back because you know how it was after Aquaman. Yeah. You know how the rock had the fairy Aquaman fairy was supposed to be taking him to the next height. Amber Heard did it. Yeah. Always a white yeah. woman. Hey, but he's coming back as like this slumberland type deal. Have you seen that trailer? Nah. Okay, so think of cats mixed with yes fairy. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's what yes. he's coming back that way. I did, and see he also that. has Aquaman too. So okay, the, like um, the Bojangles of uh, Dreamland or something like do Slumberland. Remember that. Or I like do that. remember that now. Ooh, uh, I got to give it up to Dave Batista for locking down another role because you know he finished he's the Guardians one looks of like God. he's doing something. Hey, can you hey. grab me that 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 stand over there on top of that wood? Uh, I forgot I was going to try to go live on TikTok. No, you good. Um, um, yeah, David Batista has uh, is in the new M. Night Shyamalan movie, Cabin of, in the Woods or some shit like that, where they come knocking, and basically it's four people. They've been tasked by their cult or their organization to kill these two dads and their daughter to stop the, the coming of the apocalypse. Let me make sure I get the title right, because I saw this. I was like, ooh, this is going to be good. Uh, cabin... What episode number is this? This is... Uh, 332? Yes. Cabin in the Woods. Is that it? Uh, Knock at the Cabin is the movie. Like, as soon as I saw the trailer, I'm like, dude, we got to go see this. I showed Jessica. We are going to go see that film. So uh, make sure that you guys check it out. Because I was like, man... I, I give it up to him, man. He, he, made, he made great choices. And we talked about this before. He's over 50. It's hard for him to keep up that body. That's why he he's not doing WWE anymore. And he's like, I can't just keep doing deals with my shirt off. And he dabbled with, he had this, um, the CIA I did spell movie. Ronnie wrong. I put two R's in there. <laughs> well, they're supposed to have two R's. R it's, no, yeah. it's like R-U-R-R. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, take one of them out. Yeah, um, but it's nice to see him because he's. It looks like he's maybe the lead, and also it has um, uh, the boy that played Ron in Harry Potter. He's also in this film too as one of the four that are coming to kill this family to stop the apocalypse on the world. And they're and it doesn't seem like they want to do it, but it's like if this is true, we have to, you know, do bad things to save the rest of the world. Otherwise, mm -hmm. everybody's gonna die. So. I was like, man. And then I was like, you know what? This seems too interesting. I forgot it's M. Night Shyamalan. There's going to be a BS twist at the end. Yeah. So, easily. But I'm still down to see it. Uh, but yeah, the Mob Psycho deal, you know, actors need to be paid. They need to be compensated, taken care of. And I think the fact that uh, I can't remember his name, but the voice actor that passed away from colon cancer in his early 30s, he was like a year or two earlier than us. He just passed away last mm. year or earlier this year. Uh, I think if he would have had better, I think I knew something. About it. Yeah, he was anime voice actor. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah, yeah. they were gonna have to recast his. Oh, dude, I'm. I'm yeah, I, I'm. Blank. I'm still sleepy. Yeah, I, I'm still sleepy. But they're gonna have to recast him in a lot of popular shows right now that he was in. And I feel like if he'd have had better, you know, insurance, better everything everything yeah like, I, I mean that's we talked yeah. about like the Better wage gap everything. today on like when i got in here like if you're not making 25 dollars an hour you're going to be in substantial trouble and it costs to raise one kid like three hundred thousand yeah, dollars yeah, yeah. here in the u.s just on average so there's a lot of things that you're going to start seeing from some of your voice actors and, and actors like hey we and need plus, to be taken i mean they're making so much off of money it. oh yeah merchandise like well we well you can go to the con and sell this merchandise it's like that's like demon me. demon slayer hey, these anime are me. making one piece over a hundred amount hey. of money for the fact that these actors and act, voice actresses aren't taken and, care of aren't taken care of because the cost is a lot is a lot lower mm -hmm. because a they're not it's not like you're you know Denzel or anything like that, but th these these movies are making so easy much money. box office high money. Yeah, where you could easily be like, all right, guys, you know, since you're a part of this, we're going to flush it out to where you're going to get X amount of percent of whatever gross sales we got. You know, that's it. You know what? They don't I, even do. They don't even give them that. You know, there's such a competition between American voice actors and Japanese. Like they don't even talk about French or you know Thai voice actors. Just those two. It's like there's no competition. You're just dubbing in your in the language to yeah. to fill that translation gap. Why are you guys not working together? Why can't being a voice actor uh, like Chris Sabat? be a lifelong journey for him just like it is the his counterparts in japan or it, actually he's or, the counterpart or, or like, to japan uh, or like steve um well he he done took voice acting 
to Man, aggressive level. Man, I want him to come back because he's he. Steve Bloom also said that he wishes he could do more voice acting, but he's not in the area where he can do it. So when he does, like Fooly Cooly, which is coming back, mm. he is so excited to be in that because like it's something that I miss and I wish I could do more. But he's doing like the production side and trying to get people's voices out and acting and and photography and all kinds of stuff. So uh, I'm I'm super excited. So you you jump on in. I'm, I'm going to jump on in while, while, while you... Gundam Evolution. I'm going to dive a little bit more. I'm going to do a more. couple of matches. No, you good. You good. I'm going to do a couple of matches. I'm going to the bucket, okay? Um, okay. In which, Ooh. FYI, I did do something big today. What you can you follow do? the Buckety on Instagram. The Buckety, T-H-E-B-U-C-K-I-T-Y. Uh -huh. That is the... Uh, I'm trying to test it out. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he good, he good, he good. Uh, that is, uh, I switched over the Blackest Studios page Yay! to the Buckety, so it is now. Yes, it's finally, it's finally, the, it's Buckety. finally the Buckety, so yeah. Let me, let me go back before we dive into voice acting. Now, when you hear this, I feel like certain races will hear different things that are problematic. Ooh. There's only one thing that's problematic, so let me read this. Fox News host Tucker Carlson <laughs> likens... Okay. Likens teacher's prosthetic breast to Japanese genre of exploding milk porn. So the actual issue here is why do you watch so much exploding milk porn? Because I would I watch anime all the time and I would never make that comparison. What is exploding milk porn? Exactly. Now we have some fans out there be like, oh yeah, I, yeah, it does look like that. And I'm just like, I have, I'm 35. I have no idea. I can imagine. But is are there cows involved? Are these prosthetic titties? So what, what made him? What made him? Okay, it? so there is. I don't know why we we talked about him. this. There was uh, two teachers. There was a, a black teacher and then like a Cuban, you know, female teacher. Okay. They got a body. They're wearing regular I, clothes. They got the nice And the the, yeah. the moms were mad because maybe their husband's eyes are wandering. Whatever she's doing her job, they don't like what she's wearing. But there is a trans cis well there's a trans white female yeah, it has coming fake, down to like the the thighs fake big ass ridiculous titties and she for came no with reason like a super mini skirt with, for for no reason and working around power equipment and shit and there and the school stands behind that bullshit and supporting it's like that has nothing to do with the deal y'all are on some bullshit right now so he reviewed this and then tried to not only slanderize Japanese, you know, meat. I mean, they, they there's a lot of crazy that they sell panties and vending machines. No, but, it, it is aggressive. But, uh, but he, yeah. you're trying to make it seem like that's all that is going on. It just goes to that, that, that rhetoric that Fox is just like. You, you, yeah. you rest on your laurels, sir. This is something that you're watching, and that's why you felt confident bringing it into the news. Because I would never say this statement on there. I was like, y'all want me to read what? My mama's watching. Hell yeah. no. Do you know the implications? But being white, you can absolve yourself of everything. I'm just reporting things. It doesn't mean that's my personal view, which we do know he, he it goes into it personally. But it says. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Fox News weirder moments. Show host Tucker Carlson brought up a genre of Japanese internet porn that describes a teacher's prosthetic breast in a segment on Monday's exploding milk porn. He called it possibly a literal translation translation of Bakuniyu, which uh, colloquially means huge breast. Uh, Carlson claims said that the prosthetic breasts visually are visible in the viral video footage of the woman working in the classroom are based on the style of Japanese internet pornography, which translates roughly into English um, exploding milk porn. Now, this is my deal. Titties that big I've only seen on white people. Whether it's in real Those life or right. porn. Those titties that, are, you talking about that, that teacher? Yeah. And I'm talking about like women get these breasts. Like when you look at body modifications, you have like demonic uh, body modifications. Yeah, like the horns, yeah. You have a lot of piercings throughout the face, and then you have like overindulgent. And whenever you see big, 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 big old bazungas, dusty bazungas, I've only seen them on white women, and they make no sense. They're not attractive, and you, you know what? People that don't have, they just go overboard. Like, man, I want some water. You don't drink until you throw up. You know, you get you sixteen point nine. <laughs> That's all you need. And Facts. then when you get thirsty again, do it again. But all these. BBLs like if we see it from the front 
and it looks like Madonna's misshapen. It's it doesn't look good. It doesn't it look like real. A, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not replicating, you know, Mammy from back in in, in the day. It's aggressive. It's, 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 aggressive. it's just so weird. But that, I think it also boils down to, you know, not not loving yourself. Yeah. I don't uh, I think it's always been that way. Like how could a people that were enslaved find happiness and continue to thrive and we can't? We're supposed to be superior. And and we talked about you know, history, like a lot through Gundam, mm-hmm. um, the author of Gundam, Tomino, every series is based off real wars um, that happened throughout the world because he grew up living through them. And it's always stems from imperialism or colonization, which we know the two biggest groups that, that go through those and try to do that to others. So it's kind of weird that this is still something that goes on today. But again, the systemic racism is, is placed in everything. How you feel about your body image. Well, you guys got big lips. Well, then why the fuck are you getting injections? Why is there Botox? <laughs> you d- big asses and big titties slow you down. And the bitches got balloons upside her head. So it makes no sense. It's contradictory to what you say. It's a feeling thing, like you said. Yeah. You have to be comfortable with yourself. No, that's, uh, that's, that's facts, man. That's, but then that's if, facts. If, you're, if you're preaching this on, on the news, I feel like you're also into it, too. Just you have to be. That. You have to it's, be. And at that moment, you're just, you just don't, you're just doing what you need to do for a check. Yeah. And what's so sad is that they have, like, a crazy platform. Yeah. And I mean, they just don't care. Well, I, I've stumbled upon somebody recently that they are a Trump supporter, but they don't support the views. But then everything they say is in line with them. And they have, they have no personality themselves. They take on politics as who they are it's like the political party is not who you are you're a person and you're just parroting and mirroring what other people are saying so you sit at home all day and this is all your life is politics and every t- conversation you have is politics and you're politics, arguing yeah. or the stuff with biden like oh look at him stutter and this and that it's like first off the man's old you know he had a speech impediment so why are you now you're just bullying and making fun of somebody and it doesn't matter they if you care. support him or not it's like how you treat people reflects who you are as a person so if your political agenda is who you are and this is how you guys act that's the kind of person you are you can't be mad when people say you're racist you're nazis you're a supremacist because that's the way you're acting don't shit in my soup and say it's chocolate it, it came out your ass it looks like shit it smells like shit it is shit yep. and you just fed me you're trying to feed me shit because that's the kind of person you are so we're, we're done with that story like mm. I, i'm not trying to hey no hey. no that, that's facts right now i'm just doing tutorial any damn way so no you good um, you good um let's 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 see what else news i had oh uh i haven't really d- dove into this because there's been so many coming up but apparently twitch is doing some stuff that people aren't happy so what about. happened what do you, do you know um, do you know the story of what happened what okay this down? is the first time i remember i started seeing people making videos about it Twitch is going down. You're not going to make money on Twitch anymore. This is the end of yeah, Twitch. Tw- Quit Twitch. Twitch, like, Twitch, tw- you know, like, ah, Twitch really don't care, blah, blah, blah. Which, you know. Hey, um, y'all, hey, y'all them, hit me with them, the good payout. None so. of them, exactly. None of them truly, truly just care about. No, it's about a company does not it, care about the individual. The only time they care about the individual or why we have HR set up in the first place is to mitigate circumstances that will end that company because they want to continue making money to feed their family. Yeah. But we also talked about this overabundance again. Once you get to a certain amount of money, no matter how much money you pull in after that is going to make you happy and you're not going to use it. So if you're not doing something with it actively to give back and this goes to, you know, you know going to the fair and tipping ultra high and they're like oh shit you t- like that 20 bucks on like a five hey dude you treating me with respect you're kind you're courteous you know you're here working all day yeah go ahead and take it i'm here for a couple hours like there's a there's a mentality with money and wealth and it has to start with yourself versus just collecting so yeah i saw this article on the 22nd there's been several more since the 22nd it says twitch streamers are furious following new changes some threaten to leave the platform um, Twitch streamers are pretty furious following the company's decision to drastically change how much money it takes from content creators. Twitch is one of the biggest platforms on the internet and the uh, largest uh, because of the creators who have streamed on it for years. Uh, without creative entertainment creators, there is no Twitch. Now, the Amazon-owned platform has re- uh, rewarded its creators over the years with a new feature and money via donations, subscriptions, and more. Amazon even introduced a feature that allows viewers to connect their Amazon Amazon Prime accounts and give streamers uh, one free sub every month, pretty much giving the streamer free money. 
Well, there's a big change coming and people are incredibly unhappy about it. Hours after confirming Twitch would be regulating the kind of gambling content on this platform, it burnt away a lot of goodwill that came with the news by announcing uh, something may or something many had dreaded. Twitch has confirmed that it is reducing its 70-30 sub-split for all streamers down to 50-50, which... You know, isn't too uh, bad. I see. But I see. means creators lose 20% of their previous income. Now, if you're putting all your stock into being famous, wealthy, and rich off Twitch, that's not even what rich people do. They diversify. They invest in different things. So you should already have been doing that in the first place. I do understand what you're losing. But, again, how much money do you need? What are you doing with it? You're sitting on – I mean, it's, it's content creators that have found did their they, niche that are sitting why? on their laurels. Um, it says now the 50-50 model has been in place for some time, but the bigger streamers who um, yeah, dominated like the platform. Huge streamers. They're the ones who get the 70. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, dominated the platform, grew quickly. They got the 70-30. Those who are currently on the 70-30 model will be able to retain uh, that. Yeah, retain that for the most part. 100K earned through subs, but after that, it's split 50-50. Like, exactly. Yeah, if you're so, making 100K per month. Yeah, not like a year <laughs> no, per, that's month. per month. No, uh, that's per month. But uh, you, you're, you're okay. You're okay. You know who's bitching about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because we don't and see then, any they're of the ones. Yeah, they're the ones who I saw on TikTok. Uh, now, and, granted, some of them, and, and I'll say this, there, there's, there's some of them that they've already left the platform. Yeah. They've already left it. They're already doing their own thing. They done, they are able to sign new deals on other platforms, and they're happy. And they're doing that secular. Like, they'll be on YouTube for a couple months, Let's Switch, Facebook, they Switch understand. Twitch. None of them truly care about you. you just, it's all about your community. And yep. if your community is willing to follow you, just keep it pushing, keep it moving, keep it moving. And you can provide oh, that okay. content and make income for your family or whatever. Um, it's, it's so interesting that... Oh, it's like, well, I want all of the money. Fuck everybody else. You're putting out programs to help other people that are never spotlighted, that are never seen. Fuck that. Keep giving me money. And they'll they'll make it once they find their niche. It's like, you're biting off my niche. Like, yeah. why are you <laughs> trying to look like me doing the same thing that I'm doing, but yet I don't get marketed and pushed on the front? You know what I mean? So there, there's a give and take to both sides. Like, I think that's probably like if I got to truly complain about Twitch, I think that's that's the that's main where complaint. I complain the about The equality they, is not yeah, there yet no, at they, all. They definitely push and also, who they want to push. Yeah, and cutting off people that shouldn't be on. If there's violation, you can't violate like somebody at DCMA, but you also have somebody that it, getting fucked on camera. And they're yeah. only off for seven days. It's like if I was sitting there with my kids and family, I have to be cautious of this now. I just can't be on your platform because you can't even honor the regulations that you have that you hold me to a standard to, but you don't hold somebody else to. And the only the reason I can see is because they're white, you know. Yeah, I mean, or yeah, it, 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 or female. It, that's or, all I was about to say. Uh, and, and, and that part gets aggressive because I think we got we got, and I'm not saying every platform is perfect. No. I think every platform can and should mm -hmm. find ways to improve and whatnot. But uh, you know, there are other platforms that I feel like do a decent better job of who is that yeah if you guys we're also on caffeine we're not on caffeine right now uh but for streaming caffeine's another one i didn't where, download that to the computer for we can yeah. there make sure you're streaming on that yeah caffeine's a nice one that they will just stream your content you can interact uh, there are chat systems need to be a little bit better but once that starts to grow because one of the the things that i watch on there consistently is all deaf digital now all deaf uh, if you guys know them, Patrick Cloud, you know, Kev on stage, who just lost his brother, condolences. I've, we've said condolences all this week. Uh, Kenan Baker, Roxy Hayes, Tony Baker, all these comedians that do really good work that you've seen uh, some of their writing on TV shows. Even uh, Ify Wadaway has written for a lot of shows that you guys watch. They're providing content there that you're not getting anywhere else. Uh, they, they were on Twitch, they were on YouTube, or maybe they're diversifying and they're all, but caffeine is really taking them in as their home and giving them something that you can't get at these other structured you know facilities and, and you've been streaming on caffeine for about, about a month now about two and a half almost yeah. how, do you, how do you like it i love how, it. how do you like it compared to the i love the fact compared to twitch and facebook i can record uh, i can listen to the audio live while oh, i'm there i don't have that's, any that's yeah strange. That lets me know how my audio sounds. Let me know if something's coming through. If it's not picking up, the only thing is it doesn't integrate with these other systems that well. So I'm trying to dedicate so like, a day as, just as far to as like the other, 
the other yeah like if i'm running music here on streamlabs it won't play through on caffeine because caffeine like this just picks up from the pc and phew, streams that shit straight I out see. for you so that's the I only to switch to my melee weapons keep going oh i'm trying to remember i don't know if i remember either yeah, yeah. but training didn't Training it and teach yeah, me. No, no, no. Training don't know. Hey, hey, Amaro, you got to let. Where's the book? Where's the book? Yeah, my where, boy pulled the, the book every the book time. Uh, but yeah, like caffeine, there's stuff to work on. They're still brand new. They're still interacting. They're almost, they're like the pod beam of, um, you know, streaming services right now. Their, their customer service is really good. They like to interact with you. Tell They give you your updates. They tell you about trends that you're currently watching, things that uh, you might that might interest you. It's the same stuff as Twitch, but Twitch has fallen off with some of that stuff. Yeah. Because they're like, we're getting Twitch, our money Twitch started, from booty. So they start aggressively changing once Amazon uh, really got in the picture. I think right mm -hmm. when Amazon came in, they started doing some cool stuff, but I think they were just doing that just to really just to get make, you yeah, to come in. Make you want to come back in and whatnot. But um, but I will say it is September, so if you have Amazon hey, Prime, give us your free sub. Yeah, because we need it. Yes. Uh, every sub that I get makes my my hair grow longer. Hey, your your mm. hair has been growing long. Uh, I want to be like Diana Ross. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. You want you want to start just swinging it? If there's a cure for this, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Look at my hair. Uh, <laughs> just to remind, like I said, right now, uh, we are testing out the Gun of Evolution game. Yes. It is free to play right now on PC, and it will be also free to play on consoles coming soon. Uh, but right now, it is available on PC. Just go to Steam and uh, you know download it. Uh, it plays like a Overwatch. Um, mm -hmm. I was thinking Titanfall at first because there's no story. That is true. There is no story at all. Overwatch got a story? Oh, kind of. Like, it's almost like, you know, if you're going up the towers of Mortal Kombat, everybody's got a story to tell. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you get here? I'm an actor. I do the splits. Um, I did play this game when it was in beta testing. Yeah. Um, it looks a lot smoother. It is a lot smoother. I could tell they added a couple more new mobile suits. Uh, it, like I said, they do have mobile suits you can buy. You got the season pass, of course. I am Ooh, I am trash. And I'm running from the. From hey, the, that's all right. That's all right. It's a zombie. Mm. Um, and they kind of do what mm. the whole yeah. So I was down. Someone could have rescued me or healed me. Yeah, that's um, that's the one thing I hate about it because as soon as somebody see you down, like oh, you oh, ain't yeah, getting yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, come you on, ain't hey. getting up, is, that, is that free booty? Hey. Is that free booty over there? Let me get that. And my aiming is just still it's off. It's okay. Bad. Um. Just but, close like your I eyes said, like Amuro did. Like, hey, for real, I should just let my new type skills mm. uh, just guide me. And it right now, like and I'm I think you better. play like rounds, and mm. one team is on offense, capturing Next. your points, and you're on defense trying to you know secure your points. Which okay. I think we did a, not because of me, but we did a good job of securing. I really didn't see too much of the red letters popping up. Oh, let um, me see if I can uh, pull up some info on gun down. Um, I will say that, again, all the Gundam research just makes everything Gundam so much more fun. Oh, yeah, man. Like, I was I was thinking I was telling moms about that. I was like, man, just having uh, with Elijah. Like, I was telling her we were, we were watching it all. Uh, I was like, but having him, like, kind of dissect everything uh, and coming more at, like, a behind the scenes from the creator aspect of it, it just, it's even giving me just so much more insight and so much more respect for it. Mm -hmm. uh that you know i i didn't even care to even think about previously yeah it's like because again going to zeta zeta looks beautiful but narrative it looks, story? It looks gorgeous Fresh. yeah it looks yeah. like you, know, you have original mobile suit gundam and just really polish it because mm. mobile suit gundam is you know it's, it's, it's very yeah, it's data it's very unpolished uh it's 79 yeah 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 yeah, yeah 79 you can, or it created 78 and then came 79 and yeah. you can you can you can see it yeah. uh but you know in zeta you can tell they start really taking out more detail the mobile suits look more like mobile suits mm. and mobile suit gun every now and then you see a mobile suit you be like yeah. what happened to that scene <laughs> yeah like, huh. <laughs> huh he looked he get fat <laughs> hey. how did and mobile suit get fat you know what i um oh where was it is it zeta there was uh the actual designs for the gundams were a lot thinner by tomino so there's there's clips where the gundams like did they lose weight and it's like that's the actual design but i can believe that because yeah. they didn't you know those weren't going to sell toys they made them bigger and you know accessories well, yeah I was, I was just now thinking about that i was like yeah some of the designs like you get the real scope and then they're like let's reuse this footage 
Let's yeah, reuse this footage. That's like, when you'd be like oh, every episode. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Gundam. Evol- oh, they trying to get me. You want to purchase it? Of course. Uh, what is you want to purchase? Season pass? Mm-hmm. Season one. Sorty. And I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to take my money. Season uh, pickup is a Unicron, uh, Unicorn Gundam, Zaku 2 Melee. Yeah, they, they got a lot in here. Um, about the evolution, uh, the evolving world of Gundam Evolution. Gundam Evolution is a full-fledged FPS based on Gundam series on the Gundam Show Show series. Exceeding, I like, you, I like how you're saying Gundam. Hey, hey, they hit him with this. Hey, where is Amaro and Gundam? Uh, exceeding your limits with a high speed boost system and unleash powerful G maneuvers to claim victory. And each one has like snippets, says units dominating the battlefield. Gundam Evolution features an all star arsenal of units from across the Gundam multiverse set up. With your favorite and join the fray, which you guys are seeing everything. And I do like the clips they're pulling because you have uh, uh, Hathaway, Iron Blood Orphans here. You have uh, Armoro getting kicked by Char. Sound by yeah, Ryan. it's Sound just, by Ryan. Sound uh, by Ryan. the Gundam series started as a TV anime in 1979 and has spawned numerous other works for over 40 years. See why the world of Gundam has been beloved by generations across the globe. And I do remember when I was playing through this, because it was this one where you kind of had white base and Gundam, but you also had like the time difference, right? Uh, no, that's the SD Alliance. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That one also drew me in as well. So this one's just the battler. Yeah, this the is other just one, pure battle. The other one got a little bit of a story into battle it. Battle Assault is what it felt like yeah, to me. And I was yeah, like, yo, yeah. y'all are really trying battle to hit on my... Battle Assault mixed with uh, Dynasty, Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, 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 y'all yeah. are really trying to pull me back in. All right, I'm going to hand it over to you. Okay, cool, Knock cool, out the cool. first round. Thank so you. I believe you're going to be on offense, and Oof. you can change whatever modes that you want to hmm. by, in the prep area, pushing the L button. Uh, the L stick, like okay. L, like the the joy the joystick. Okay, pushing good. in L three. There we go. That's what it's called. Man, that's L three and R three. Josh asked me an uh, interesting question the other day. He was like, "Man, do you do you, you still play game games? Like, are you still a gamer?" And I had to keep a buck fifty with him. I was like, "I'm still a gamer, but most of my games, the first thing that I think about is like, you know." Is this something that my sons, you know, can we play together? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it something that... It changes. That, yeah, it changes dramatically. And just like I've been really playing Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. Ooh, loving it. It's beautiful. God, man, that game is gorgeous. Uh, but I can only play it during certain times because it is also, you know, it's very graphic. You know, it's mm. very, very graphic. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's war. They can The Mongols come in, they evade, they take over. And samurai are, are fighting back for their freedom, the liberation and the people so yeah it's it's it's, it's on one yeah right? it's definitely on one and I, i'm loving it uh and it got me even more excited for ronin mm. to come out if you guys don't know playstation state of play they tease a uh, feudal era japanese style game of like samurai mixed with nin- it feel like ghost of tsushima mixed with ninja gate and if they had a kid this is what it is oh what happened i don't know i just stopped i was going back into the match after i picked picked old gundam uh-oh, let me put the batteries back in. Yeah, but you got, you got kids, stuff like that happens. Yeah. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> um, no back on the run. Oh, yeah. Did I put them but in? no, yeah, that, that Ronin game, it looks like it's pretty much like if Ninja Gaiden and the Ghost of Tsushima had a child and spawned it because you play as this, this samurai, a Ronin, what is a Ronin? A Ronin is like a... It's like a wandering samurai. A samurai that has no lord to serve. A samurai that doesn't have a purpose, if you will. And you play as him, and, you know, he's pretty much... The moves he was doing was not like Ghost of Tsushima's. Mm. It was a little bit more, uh, like I said, Ninja Gaiden, uh, Ninja Gaiden-ish. Let's see if it picks up on the stream. Uh, you might just have to, you know, go and disable and do it again. That's that. That's that shit I learned from Stone. When we was playing games. <laughs> there we go. Okay, start button. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh. no, you good? All right, let me go hard. To the right. To the right. There you to go. the. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. 
I, I'm still hearing T Pain in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because T Pain is still bumping. Okay, with, so where'd with you the, go? Casual. Uh, casual. We gotta do casual because we don't have enough credit to go into the ranking mode. That's the only thing I hate about games like this. Cause it, but it does make you invest. It makes you invest. Oh yeah, in yeah, yeah. Especially if it's free. Uh, those are the uh, Gundams you got access to right now. Hey, go down to that one Gundam that's uh bottom right, right, the left, left in the middle, right, you're right there. Who's? I I did not know who that is. Hmm. Mobile suit Gundam. The main oh shit the the main mobile suit. Uh, the whole thing did it. Is it from the back? Oh no! I just okay. hit it with oh. the headset. Oh, I don't oh, know. Okay. Um, oh, did I pick that one? <laughs> Did I no, he's it? locked. So okay. you might go through a cycle where you can actually repick your game. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, you know what I saw? Uh, I saw some uh, Gundam model kits built, and it was all it was the Shuffle Alliance, but they were single mm. builds, and they had like them stationed. And remember, Jibbity took off the gloves. And he had like the deal behind him. I'm like, ah, oh, uh, is that what yeah. you tagged me in? I might have tagged you. In that I think one. you did. It was on uh, uh, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that. I did see that. I follow a couple of model kit groups on there. I'm like, bro. Yeah, I follow quite a few on, on Twitter. Um, and I and I, I be seeing so many of them popping up on Twitter. So good. Uh, I think someone dropped out, so they're about to recycle you back into okay. the lobby. So you have to reclick on the casual game and jump back in. Yeah, um. True. Uh, we can we can look at this unit again. Yeah. Okay. Well, so who was that again? Uh, from the lunar guy, guy Gigaham fleet. Ba, 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 ba. I I gotta Google that. Yeah. 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 I haven't made it here yet. G H I N G. This is this looks like some some 2022 type Gundam. Yeah, that's why I was just like, cause I saw I saw it on Twitter. Oh, okay, that is I believe Gundam Age. Okay. No, Turner Gundam. Ooh. Oh, uh, was that Cosmo's sister? Yeah, you saw. Hey. What, was, what was her name? We just we just Sailor. went through. Okay, there we go. Sailor, Sailor coming through. Yeah. She. Hey, when she's. Hey, come on! I'll get you out of here. If you think I'm gonna help, you got the wrong idea. Hey, he's escaping. Yeah. And then nah, Salo was on. Salo was. Salo was tough because old boy didn't think like when he was running that she was gonna tackle him for that gun. I was like, oh, that that is Char's sister. Yeah, that that's is Char's sister. Hey. Mm. Uh, yes, it, that, that gun is for Turner Gundam, uh, which I had. I've actually haven't watched Turner Gundam yet. Okay. Um, that is like I believe that's the one that's at the very end. It's of, close to the end. Like yeah. when, we, when I did that list, I remember it being back there. All right, there you go. Now you're in here. Um, and they got the mace. The mace wasn't even a weapon the Gundam had. That was a toy sale because the physics oh, don't course. work in space. And, and <laughs> like, honestly, that the whole Gundam Iron Blood was a toy sale cash grab. Yeah, cash grab because yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So the the the, the barber toast with that huge mace walking around. Um, uh, so you also push the R B button, I think the dash and L T to look to zoom in. Um okay. and while you're in this area, if you ever push L three, you're gonna go back to that the that menu. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, yeah. And then you see your little special weapons over there. Push A to use your shield. I don't know what he and does. Then y for the mace. Yeah. Uh, boom. There you go. Um Good old Amaro, man. Have you gotten to Zeta where you actually see Amaro? Uh uh-uh, uh, because I didn't get to I didn't get to watch this weekend like I wanted to. Okay. Because I was like, yeah, I need to catch up, and then we caught up on our shows like Res Dogs. Have you watched Res Dogs yet? Um, that's that's Reservoir. Is that the one that's located here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it, it's really good. Uh, it always gets me because I'm from Anadarko, so you talking about Indians and stuff like that. I know what they're talking about. Uh, I love the feel of the show. Oh yeah, I'm trash at this. Hey. <laughs> um. But we watched that. We caught up on She-Hulk, the wedding episode. Oh, so good! Like I like. I don't think I've seen that wedding episode yet. It is who gets married? Uh, one of her friend, like one of her friends, gets married, and Jen shows up. She got some. She got some clothes now. Oh boy! And the, uh, of course, you know her. Uh, the drip broker's black. Of course, so of course, of course, of he, course. He uh, he got her some clothes, 
she shows up and she just wants to like everybody's telling her how good she looks as she hulk so she just wants to kind of show up as she hulk and of course titania is there her friend is getting married she's like is this when titania tries to her that was that's episode five that's before okay okay this okay. episode the deal that's going on at the law firm is there's a guy named the immortal who can never die and he's got all these wives he killed himself to get away from because he's immortal so and i guess if you die he falls that, out that kills out the that kills at least he's doing it the right way well he, he comes nah, back nah, to life <laughs> immediately and so they all are you know getting ready to sue him they want money because he's like i've been in with them 18 years well why should she get the same amount of money as me they were only married for three well i had a kid with them and then one you know was but wouldn't for, death like like and I, and I hate to say it but wouldn't death like get him out of everything no because he comes right back like he jumped out of the building hit a car like fell into a car and then gets up and walks away so he kills himself to make make it look like it but they found a youtube video of him so all the wives kind of converged ah, and, hey, see, and this see. old boy had like a, a old white husband he had a couple black sisters in there a middle eastern one some white ones like it's like he's immortal though i can understand that were they old at least or were they all roughly oh he yeah, i guess he older, just yeah. found, did he just found out he's immortal no he knew he's he's known he's he's been alive for years like he's got like fun from like one of the queens he used to uh, be with like yeah, hey, you know yeah, like yeah, yeah. we're just finding out about superheroes and stuff like that so i see i see uh but it was it was really good like how they solved it because it, it gets the it's not all put on jen to be the head of the well, this is a little sensitive to be the head of the law firm and the super powered you know deal like that man i tell you one thing that i actually just got done knocking out this whole weekend uh what i've been watching and which i still need to watch house of house of dragons as well uh, yeah i i ain't I dipped back in yeah i dipped back in the last last week i was disappointed to be real with you man i was kind of like i don't know last week's episode i don't know just it just it didn't hit me right um uh, but i know now is the new actresses have came in the age yeah, the age the crucial that. age jump has started on this particular house of uh dragon so i'm excited to do that but i have been knee deep in some freaking cobra kai yeah man. i remember we were talking about that i said i want to see terry silver and, and he's a hey, the season season four man I'm like, okay let me catch up i'm season two getting ready to be season three so how you how you feeling about that it was good man i think it, it ended on a really you know of course they you could tell they they left it they left a few things slightly open were just in case if they wanted One to re go back into there they could but i also like the way how they ended it were it is shut like yeah. it doesn't they don't have to keep going if they don't need to uh um, that's i had oh well, you might not be there yet never mind i'm not gonna mention it and what no um when what's his name in cobra kai yeah uh, i'm, I'm danny, all the way done with it okay so danny ran back into kimiko again yes, yeah yeah and he was hey, looking like Fox was a little fun yeah i he saw them like, eyes i was like was wait like, a second he was like girl shoot i kind of I'm, see, a, I'm a grown man now. And this is this like is from somebody that's not even caught up. Lunch. I saw that. I was like, wait a second. I thought your wife and your daughter and old boy pops up too. Uh, chosen. Mm, okay. You remember okay. chosen? Mm. Those that look. That was the other kid that he that was, was in there battling, like trying ready to, to kill him. him. Everybody always want to beat his ass. I don't I'm blame like, him, bro. man. Then he be doing stuff that even an adult Danny he be doing stuff. Yeah, that I was I'd like, like trip. Are you on that Karen shit, bro? Hey, bad man. He be in like a car salesman. Come on. And the kicker is that he. And I, I just love the relationship between him and, and Johnny as well. And in the later episodes, you know, they realize they're pretty much the exact same type person. Mm -hmm. You know, Danny believes up and down. You can't tell him that his way is the only way. Miyagi-Do is the only way. Miyagi-Do. I said, Miyagi only beat up them it's kids the after way. they was messing with you, bro. That's the only way. And, you know, it just gets frustrating a little bit. Yeah. Uh... And uh, and I'm not no disrespect to Mr. Miyagi, none at all. But you know, Danny just you know hardcore. You know, he's from Jersey. He's a Jersey Dick boy. Ride. Yeah, and you just kind of see, it, and he plays off off like he's the nice guy. But you know, he he does a lot of reckless stuff as well. Man, if he if anybody remembers, and I even make mention of it in the show, you know, Danny was taken where he was taken. Oh no, uh -oh. getting him froze. He was taken where he's taken because he was getting into trouble and fights already. And the boy didn't even yeah. know the fight, so. Oh, their connection was interrupted. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, um, oh, we're at 56 minutes already. Yeah, so it would be a good time to go ahead and let's go ahead and yeah, clean our own up. Out. But, yeah, no, dude, yeah, if you guys haven't watched Cobra Kai, you got all six seasons are available on Netflix. 
Uh, so just, you know, either use your account or use whoever friend or family member's account that you've, you've been using all this whole time and knock them out. It's super easy to watch. Uh, it, it gets it gets frustrating, but I feel like whenever yeah. you have characters that frustrate you, that's some good damn story. Yeah, because they, they are touching on an emotion, and you know yes. that they're not real people. So. Yes, they are doing what they are supposed to be doing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I gotta look, give it up to Johnny. Like them kids was messing over. I would have whooped him up too in the parking lot. Oh too, yeah, yeah, him man. The whole the whole thing. Uh, even even when Silva comes back, man, mm. it, it's definitely like you like. I forgot. I forgot who you was. I yeah, forgot. Like you all. wasn't just you wasn't just Johnny's partner. Mm-hmm. You was twisted in the head as well. Mm-hmm. I forgot how twisted you was. And you know, it's, it's, it's they did a good job. Uh. So I definitely recommend checking it out. But let's go ahead and hit them with the last week of Anime. these animes and manga, manga of the month. the month. Anime of the month is The Daily Life of an Immortal King. Season two just dropped on Crunchyroll. Mm. I believe it's on Netflix too. But I know it's on Crunchyroll. What did I put the ball? Yeah, I think it is, it on, is Netflix. on Netflix. Yeah. Two seasons, 27 episodes in all. Initial release in 2020. Um, it's like a it's comedy, fantasy mm-hmm. a little bit, but it's overall good. Uh, having vanquished a powerful demon at the age of six, uh, wizard Wang Ling must now navigate a high school life as an ordinary teen. He's super OP, powerful. His daddy, his mama know, and one other person in the whole uh, village knows. But he wears his talismans on his neck that his daddy constantly makes remakes. And um, it's funny. Just check it out. Like I said, it's on Crunchyroll on Netflix as well. You would definitely enjoy it. Day life of a mortal. I, I just checked that. I got some notifications. I got to lose the glasses. Uh, and then also no cursing, which we're at the end of the show. That's fine. Who said so, that? Uh, Toonami. Tonight. So, uh, so lose the glasses. For oh, this I last see it over part. there now. I see it yeah. now. I see so, it now. I, I guess mean, that's a double lose. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. At least I read mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got to do it now. I saw sitting here smiles. Like, okay. Um, okay, so at least I read mine, boy. You gotta get the crack out open now. Let me get the crack out open. Oh, I'm getting a double. Yeah, are you um, hearing that too? Yeah, yeah a little yeah, bit. It's starting to come through. Uh, okay, so see you at the food court tomorrow, written by Shichiro Nari. This is by Yen Press. So it's not going to be on Viz Media. You do have to go to the back alleys. Go to Yen's website, and you can you can see it there. This one was in Jump Comics. I really like this one because it's a nice slice of life. Um, it says uh, to the cl- two of the classmates, Wada and Yamato, are um, just meeting every day after school at the food court to talk about their daily life. So this is where the slice of life comes in. But I do like the fact that one of the leads is a black girl. You can tell by the curves, by the hips. Uh, you can't tell by the curves. By uh, that cocoa yeah. butt on them legs. I should have had it up. I forgot. I know. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. Because yeah, I think in the first chapter, you can clearly tell they were walking together. You're like, oh, she got she got the car. She does. She and it's, it's crazy. You got an introvert and an extrovert, and that's all they do. They meet at the food court to eat good food every day after school. Uh, even riding on the subway, they sit, you know, basically a seat apart and don't really say anything. It's like, hey, what's up? What's up? Is it ongoing or is it done? Uh, I don't know. I'm still in the early chapters. I did not actually go ahead to see how many chapters it was. Okay, out. I gotcha, Usually gotcha. I do that, but sometimes I don't. I so. got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. um, But yeah, uh, see you in the food court tomorrow. That is our manga of the month. Make sure to check that out. And then if you are caught up on that, if you have caught up by this month, go ahead, catch up on Black Clover. Tokyo yes. Avengers, you caught up on that, did you? Not. Yes. That was so, that was, yes, bro. It almost made yes. me feel like Kotaro. It makes me want to read, like, like, I felt like I got to read, like, I felt like I missed something. It, no, you didn't. You it, sure? You didn't because Shinichiro is, a, he's the one, he's, he's, he's the first one. So let me ask you, do you feel like, Cause him and old girl's brother look hella close, do they not? They do. They look like they could be the same they, person, they, low key. They do, they do. I'm just saying, like we don't want to ruin nothing for you. Like the things that you see going into, I would say, because this is because Tokyo Revision is one of those animes too that I just like. I feel like there's a plot hole, but I know you guys cover up y'all's plot holes, mm-hmm. just like Black Clover. Just that's like what me and like that's yeah, what me and so uh, Joshua was talking about. I was like. Hands down, Black Clover is one of the most underrated animes. Mm-hmm. Easily. Oh, yeah. Especially oh. for how much... how much is It blows... And I don't get it. I, I don't it's get a, it. Well, somebody had said... And this is the last thing. Somebody was talking about... The Chainsaw Man is... Un- You've seen this before. I was like, no, you haven't. I've, I've been in this game for over 30 years. You have not seen something 
that talks about stuff like this in this narrative. Yes, there's demons. Yes, people die. But Man, this is easily, easily one that came out that's far gorier than Berserk. Oh, far you're talking about Chainsaw? Yeah, 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 yeah. Claymore. Uh, but Black Clover? Like, Who is your squad that you picked? For and, uh, best anime squad, best anime squad. Remember, you had asked me that like prior um, to the s- spaces, and I, I said Black Bulls. I know, I'm but I'm trying, I can't remember think. who you said. What will Josh just, had told me? Okay, he said I'll he said he said because they know they can they about to take an L. He said oh, yeah. they roll Tome, up yeah. deep. Yeah, um, we about to take this L together. But what what was the whole question? It was, like, it was I think for, you, I think just you coming said, together, wasn't it? I think you said, who, what do you feel like? Who, who do you feel like yeah, had just the, the best, best squad? Because yeah, 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 yeah. somebody said the Z Fighters. Did you I, say the Z Fighters? No, you didn't. No, say I didn't Z-Fighters. say the Z Fighters. Like I like the Z Fighters, and I, they all pulled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm I want to say uh, yeah, One you did. Piece. You say ride or die. Is that what you said? You didn't sound like you said One Piece. I'm gonna have to go back and listen. It's recorded. I thought I I might have been thinking One Piece, but who else? Um. Cause that's what Cause we talked about. That's, that's what Josh. Josh felt like you probably would have said One Piece, but I was just like, I think I would have remembered that. I and mean, I, I could be wrong. I don't know, cause like right now, like after the spaces, I was steeped in One Piece. Like the stuff that came up now, I'm like, this, this is it. Hey, we might even know who's Luffy Mama is right yeah, now. Okay. Like, so they they going in. They're hey, going in. cause this is the last. This is the last chapter. So they they really going in. So, okay. um, right. but if I had to think of another squad. That come and we're not talking about just fighting. We're talking about the shows up. Oh yeah, ready. To this go. is one that it I ain't about said. powers or or you know. It's just about. I, I got one that'll take who you want to like who you want as your be as your people. J- it's a mix between Black Clover and Toman. It would be um, the Mongola from Hitman Reborn because Suna doesn't want to uh, be the next yeah, mafia. Yeah, I do remember and that. And everybody is loyal oh, to him because he doesn't want it. Okay, so yeah. that's that's a nice dope. I forgot about so, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's that was one of my all time favorites before I knew what a favorite was. Yeah, and that's one thing about that that questionnaire list. It, it really it, sometimes it's hard because we watch so much anime, mm-hmm. especially like now that it's easier to watch so much oh, anime. Yeah, there's access. Uh, it's so easy to kind of like someone may have slipped. Yeah. Uh, and with those type of questions, you really are diving Bring back like, in. Like, wait a sec. Hey, let me think. Hey, I got another Lupin. They oh, they yeah. they go their own way after own every, and they come right like okay I was reading the uh, and they be coming through with each other too they'll talk mad mm. shit on each other or mad yeah. stuff on each other yeah, yeah, but they yeah. they oh. they don't they don't play around they all for the group and it's four of them yeah and then if they bring you into the squad you in the squad they even respect the the man that's chasing them they give him props. oh yeah they props. Get yeah 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 don't don't disrespect detective uh, Zinigata. I'm trying yeah okay cool mm. cool cool okay, but anyways. So, yeah. Uh, thank everybody for hanging out with us. Uh, you can follow. Well, go ahead and say what you always say. Hey, if, if, no, let them know where they can what, follow you. Yeah, that's all I want to hear. I feel yeah, like that's, that's the, know where that's, they can follow you. Mm. Uh, the Buckety, T-H-E-B-U-C-K-I-T-Y, on all platforms. Mm. Facebook. Finally. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram. Instagram was my last one that I was waiting we on. did convert over. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so I finally did that. Uh, finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> And uh, yeah, just follow me. Uh, this week I got a couple videos already ready to get queued off in the chamber. In the chamber, so I'm I'm excited. The we TikToks did not... are picking back up. Yes, too. nice. Thank the you. Motivational stuff. Is That's like what I'm there. shooting for. I'm shooting for shooting at the hip with that. Hey, and um, uh, we did not stream yesterday because we had family in town. Uh, so we just kind of hung out with them. And then uh, you know, luckily Caden did have low grades, but as you saw, he had to come out here and let me know that they're yeah. all bees now. Mm-hmm. Um. So he gets a little bit of extra time. So we, we might try to throw in a stream. Because me and him did play SoCal. He really wants to go at SoCal with me. Which I I, I don't mind the competition because competition yeah. is what – that is a strong – that is a part, grow, of our, yeah. Yeah, is part of our you know, father-son relationship. But it gets it gets, it gets 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 intense. And he got hands. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> he I got mean, hands. It's one thing to lose against your son. Like, but when pass, he, like it's, it's one thing passing the torch like in-house. But, when he but then once it gets like in public – it's just, it's it's different. It's yeah. it's You're different. Like, I can only be proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't yeah. Be angry. Why he's why he's beating the dog mess out of mm-hmm. me. Yeah, yeah. But what about you, uh, sir? Where can I find you at? You can uh, make sure to send your emails to the Elijah Bailey Show. If you don't like sending emails, subscribe, rate, and review everywhere because we are on all platforms: iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify. Uh, Podbeam is our main hosting site. Apple Podcasts. You can find us anywhere. Also on YouTube, uh, Facebook, gaming, Twitch, and 
caffeine edge to gaming make sure to follow if you have amazon prime go ahead and use that free sub that you get every month on our show on this channel and the bucketies channel to show some love for all the streaming and the gaming and the podcasting we're doing uh but other than that guys the elijah bailey show chop off the w on the end that's where you find me on social media and check us out saturday yes saturday Afternoon. afternoon. I was gonna say Saturday morning. It'd Saturday be feeling like it's the morning. It does. Because I'd be waking why. up after work. Yeah, maybe that's, that's why. Yeah. yeah. Between one and one thirty p.m. Uh, join us there. We have different open discussion topics, kind of like we did today, where you can jump in. You can be a listener. You can jump in and tell us uh, your opinions. We have questions. We have battles, and we have topics to cover. Plus, some of our favorite friends come on. Micah from Grind and Motivate, uh, Strange Keith, who I talked to today. They've got a lot of sales. They had a lot of uh, people helping out with the the. Uh, GoFundMe, uh, Kickstarter. And, yeah, the Kickstarter they had, um, and I got some friends that uh, want to come. I feel like getting Leon on because I want to see like what things he's interested in and if he's ever seen them or heard anything about them before. Because like you said, he draws you in. He draws you in. So just I want to. He draws see, you in just to, just to get you. Hey, hey, I want to see what Leon's <laughs> got. Plus, it's it's always good and he, talking he, to Leon. He has yeah. Twitter. I might hit him up, see, yeah. see what he's doing this, this Saturday. So join us this Saturday. Also, catch me on What's Up Fandom and Anime Book Club. Uh, we have an episode coming out where we review season one of Coach Roll Lives Alone. Uh, we did that yesterday, and then we I think we're getting ready to do uh, stuff for Spooktober. Hmm. Um, so Spooky. I think The Promise Never Lands on the Table. Season one, okay. not season two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season, season one, one was so good. Hey, season two is just like... It's okay. It's uh, okay. I guess you guys couldn't... Do the same thing I did hey, season one. Hey, hey, there's there's more yeah, to come. There's okay. more to come. But thank you guys so much for joining us here. Episode 332 of the Elijah Bailey Show. Make sure to keep using your channel points, chat commands, and things like that on Twitch. They will come for YouTube and Facebook later. But I'm Elijah 5000. I'm the Buckety. And we will see you in the next episode of the Elijah Bailey Show. Peace.